What's good, people? It's your boy Greg the Dude, and I want to come in here real quick, um, share this video with you guys. I went back to Rite Aid again today. I wanted to do the mop deal one more time, just just to get one more. Um, I did. I think I went yesterday. Uh, I think it was yesterday when I uploaded the video yesterday morning to, to to do the mop deal, and I wanted to do it again because if anything, um, that the mop head, because you know the mop heads are replaceable. I mean, the mop head alone would be cheaper. Buying the whole mop will be cheaper than buying a refill. But a good thing about these mops is that you can throw the mop head in the washing machine. Well, I know the the other kind, the, the old seller, whatever you used to call, whatever you call it, you used to be able to throw in the washing machine. I don't know if these can be. Yeah, these can be washed in the washing machine. But um, yeah, so I wanted to do the mop one more time. Like I said, those would be great to give to someone as a housewoman present or whatever. Uh, so yeah, did that. I, want, I wanted to do the laundry detergent because I talked to my brother last night. He told me that he was getting kind of low on laundry detergent. And these are the only kind of laundry detergents that is worth shipping because it, it really wouldn't be worth And I, I have tons of laundry detergent, but it wouldn't be worth shipping no jug of laundry detergent in a box. But these are better to ship because they're a lot lighter and stuff. So I went ahead and picked up six of those. Those are $6.99. Buy one, get one free. When you spend 20 you get back 10 which I think is awesome. Um, I know we have coupons for them, but I didn't feel like looking for them, so I just went ahead and got them. Plus, you know, I mean, Arm & Hammer coupons are normally like dollar off of three, dollar off of, I think we might have some that are a dollar off of two, but I don't know if it's for these or not, but I didn't worry about looking for the coupon. It was still a good deal without the coupon. So, yeah, when you buy six of them, because they're six ninety nine a piece, so we're going to say seven to make the math easier, it, it'll be $21 for six of them, and you'll get back ten. Which is awesome, like I said. I picked up this um, this color safe bleach. It's supposed to be like a, a knockoff of Clorox 2. It was on clearance for $1.05. I figure I can get that and I can mix it with a little bit of Clorox 2 to, to stretch what little Clorox 2 that I have left. They really either need to set that Clorox 2 coupon, reset it, or put another one out because I'm getting kind of low on Clorox 2. And Clorox 2 is expensive, y'all. So, yeah, I won't be buying it unless a hell of a, hell of a coupon comes out on that. Well, that's actually not too bad at Dollar General, though. And I did the... I wanted to do the pledge. I wanted to do all pledge. Because we had the bad one, get one free coupon. And, and then I used the 50-cent off pledge coupon on coupons.com as well. The pledge multi-surface. Uh, the pledge is $3.49. And when you spend 15 you get 5 It's part of the Glade deal. I was thinking that it was a part of the clean zone, the clean zone, what is, what is the clean home zone deal as well, but it's just part of the the Glade deal, which is fine with me. The bad one, get one free coupon. I had to go to a couple stores, but it was cool because it was on my route, so I didn't mind stopping at those stores. Um, I found two at one store, then I found two at another, and then I couldn't find any more, so I ended up getting the scrubbing bubbles, and they're two for five, and I had an insert in the car, this week's insert, that had the the, the two dollar off of two bathroom cleaner which was cool and then a load the card coupon came off on the pledge and it came off on the uh, the scrubbing bubbles so first store I went I got the the, the knockoff Clorox 2 and I got two of the pledges I used a 50 cent off coupon and I used what else did I use and, oh, and I used the buy one get one on the on the pledge, and uh, I get I pay with a two ninety nine up and a dollar up. And my subtotal was seven cent, and I didn't get nothing back because I still needed to spend six ninety eight in blade. So at the next store, I got two more pledges, and then that's when I got the mop, the laundry detergent, and my total was like forty something dollars. Um, I gave the bogo coupon, the fifty cent off coupon. I think I load the card. Yeah, this is when a dollar fifty load the card coupon came off, and um, yeah, and then I got the laundry detergent. I'm sorry, y'all. And yeah, and I paid with ups. I paid with about ten, twenty, thirty-five. I paid with thirty-five dollars in ups, and I got back twenty dollars in ups, which was fine, boys. Which was fine with me. And then I still needed um some more, like three three dollars or something. To get the to get the up reward on the on the Glade promotion, which is what the pledge. No other store I went to had the pledge, so I got the scrubbing bubbles. 
and the reason being is because I had a, I had the two dollar off two coupon in the car. Those was two for five, which made them two for three. And there was a load the card uh, that came off, which made it like two for two. So yeah, so that was cool. So I, I paid with um, two one dollar ups, and made myself total zero. Pay eighteen cent, and then I got a five dollar up. So that was pretty much it. Um, for for um, for Rite Aid, I'm, now I think I'm really really done unless something uh, hell of a good, hell of a good pops up. Hell of a good ain't the word y'all, but unless something hell hell of a good, which I said it again, hell of a good whatever pops up, I'm done with Rite Aid. And I went ahead and just did this because Rite Aid um, in the next coming week, upcoming weeks don't seem to really have a lot going on in the ads unless there's going to be some some hell of a monthly promotions ain't gonna be a lot going on so i went ahead and got some more extra stuff um you know like the laundry detergent from my brother that i probably send off in a little bit once i get a box together um and yeah and that was pretty much it so i pretty much got everything i wanted um so yeah so thank you all for watching sorry for the babbling be sure to check out the blog oh well i i did have a question to propose to you guys i don't know if it's the right word either but whatever i'm sleepy um and it's early too it's like two th three o'clock okay so um so i i do a lot of food couponing i don't normally make a lot of um food haul videos because i go to the grocery store a lot but on average um if you were to for people who have older kids um when you stockpile like when you get maybe 10 20 boxes of cereal how long does it last you does it last you a week or does it last you like a couple of months? Because at this point, and I'm sure all of my earlier videos when people always seen the Pop Tarts and the cereal and the milk and stuff, that shit, excuse my language, did not last but a hot minute. And for me, I know it's like turning into a rent video and shit, but whatever. For me, to plan a grocery trip or a Rite Aid trip or whatever trip to use some overage or some money makers or whatever, to get some shit that's going to be gone in a week is kind of pointless. And it's starting to get pointless to me. So if you have someone, if your kids or whoever, you know, your spouse is eating up all this shit. And you constantly f feel as though you spending all this time couponing when you could be like doing something else. Because you know the shit is going to be gone in like a couple days. Then I would say fuck it. Don't waste your time getting a whole bunch of shit. For uh, some people who aren't going to appreciate it. Who's just going to dog the shit up. And it's going to be gone. Like how many of y'all still have Turkey Hill from Kroger? Because I know I got about 40 of them motherfuckers. And they all gone. Or how about the Dr. Peppers from CVS. The 26 Dr. Peppers. And that was only a couple months ago. That shit is gone as well. Or even the Gatorade from two weeks ago. I know about, I know I got about 30, 40 of them. They gone too. Um, Sobe. Well, I, I, I didn't let them touch the soapy because I told them that shit is mine. Don't touch it. Um, y'all want to drink up all y'all shit, you go right ahead. But do, don't touch my shit, which I know they probably still drinking it any damn way. But how long does shit like that normally last, y'all? Because shit like that, cookies, chips, whatever the fuck, don't last but a hot fucking minute. And I can go get about 30 of them bitches. And, you know, by the end of the week, they all gone. So, yeah. So, I'm sorry, y'all. I just wanted to ask you that question. Um, if I offend anyone, I'm sorry. Please hit the unsubscribe button. And yes. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.